Hello friends, so this is Yelza from Brothers in Dice channel and in this video I will show you how I made and painted the desert bases for my Lord Discordant and also a Venom Crawler for my Black Legion slash the Fists of Horus Legion. Okay, so as you can see on the screen uh, I have collected some real rocks outside, just walking along the path. Uh, I picked few that were reasonably flat so that, so that I can put uh, the minis on it. And uh, now I'm trying to find uh, a good pose, uh, good positions for the rocks on the base, so uh, that the uh, Lord Discordant would look imposing. Once I was happy with the positions uh, of the rocks, I have marked uh, where, I, uh, where I need to glue them, just using some paint, and I have outlined uh, the rocks. Then I took um, a hot glue gun, which I used for gluing these uh, big rocks, and you can see there on the side I have uh, a box with smaller rocks that I will use as a rubble around the big one to well to create a realistic effect of uh, a pile of rocks. All right, so the uh, hot glue uh, dries rather quickly. For the smaller rocks and for the sand, I'm using the regular PVA glue, the bite glue or the wood glue, however you choose to call it. So I covered the area around the rock uh, with the glue and I'm just pouring the sand over it and uh, the sand will stick to the covered areas and I will um, remove the excess just by flipping the base. I have left some, uh, so there will be some gaps left uh, here and there. Uh, if you want to cover them, you can put uh, another layer of glue and fill it with sand again, just as I'm doing right now. Alright, so um, I glued uh, a few more small rocks uh, around the base as well. Um, the, the large black area will be covered uh, with a cracked earth uh, effect. So I'm using the uh, Agrelon Earth technical paint for, from Games Workshop for this. And uh, I will put it on in, in a rather um, thick and uh, a heavy layer just so that uh, the cracks will be big enough and since I'm since this is a quite a, a large base I want also the uh, the cracks on the earth be quite big and to decorate um, the base um, I will add a couple of skulls for this I'm using the uh, it's box of skulls from GW uh, you get tons of skulls in this small box, so I just picked a few, picked few and I glued them on, on the base there. And this is how the base looks like after the cracked earth has dried. Perhaps I have put uh, a little too thick coat, because um, there are some places where the paint has chipped off. And I will be adding one more last layer of sand. Um, on the uh, on the parts where uh, which I have not covered before, and also to cover the transition between the uh, rock area and the cracked earth area. And once this dries, we will finally be able to start painting. 
I will use the black primer uh, to cover the rocks and Vallejo and Beastie Brown to cover the, the sand and the cracked earth areas. The black primer will help uh, the other paints to stick better. To make the bases fit with our existing terrain and mats, um, I want to make them uh, reddish and brownish. So uh, this layer will be the red terracotta paint and I'm using this only on the rocks and I'm painting stripes with it. I'm trying to make an uneven pattern and I'm also trying to leave the black primer in the recesses uh, to create uh, the shades. Now I need to lighten the sand uh, and for that I will be using uh, leather brown from Vallejo and uh, then the desert yellow also from Vallejo and I'm making the bases uh, the lightest uh, towards uh, the sides of the base. So the more outside, the lighter uh, I want uh, the base to uh, look because it will be shade created by the mini um, once I put it uh, on the base. Okay, and now the almost final step, I will dry brush basically everything with um, Ushapti Bone from GW and again I'm sticking to the principle that I want uh, the rims uh, of the bases to look uh, the lightest. I will also dry brush the rocks, the natural texture of the rocks will nicely pop out after this dry brush. add a little bit more depth uh, to the base I will use washes so I have the flesh wash the earth wash and the black wash nalm oil and I will use the nalm oil uh, for the metals I have by the way I have already painted the details on the base so you can see there uh, the golden parts uh, on the venom crawler base I have also painted the scars and I'm using, as, as I said, I'm using the Nalm oil for the concrete and for the uh, metals. Then I'm using the earth wash for uh, the shadows around the rocks, right? Just as you see on the screen. This will add more depth to the base. To add a little bit more of visual interest to the rocks, I'm trying to create an uneven pattern on them. So as I said, they are reddish and I'm using flesh wash, which is again reddish wash to create this pattern. I'm not covering uh, the whole rocks, I'm just putting it um, on certain spots uh, on the rocks trying to be random. This is how the bases look. I'm very happy with them. I have also painted the rims of the bases. All I need to do next is to stick the minis on top of them. I painted these guys for uh, our Tale of Four Warlord series here on the channel. And I think that you should check out this painting tutorial for Patriarch by my friend Tom.